Right, insoluble salts do just that. They don't dissolve. They're insoluble, so they hang about. They're all solid and stuff. So really, here's one being formed here. This is an insoluble salt. So you can see here, this is a sort of clear liquid, a solution. And it's being poured into another solution. So we don't know what they are. They're just clear solutions. And as the two react together, they form this solid, so yellow stuff here, which is called a precipitate. So when you form insoluble salts, it's called doing a precipitation reaction because you form a solid with these two liquids. It's clever. It's very pretty. That one is, isn't it? Anyway, so here I'm going to demonstrate it. It says a lot of imagination here, mind you, because um, I haven't got high-tech stuff and we're doing this quick and the exam's not very far away. So here we go. Now, we've got this here and we're going to say that this is salt water and we're going to say that this thing here is silver nitrate solution. So we're going to, this is sodium chloride, which is salt water, and this is silver nitrate. And we're going to pour that in here, look like this. Obviously, I've missed and it doesn't pour, but you know, imagination. So I've poured it in there and we end up with some beautiful, uh, we'll do a black, uh, precipitate here called silver chloride. Okay, now that silver chloride is a precipitate formed within these two solutions. So the sodium chloride, silver nitrate has made silver chloride. So there it is. How do we get it out of there? Well, we need to pour this, okay, into there. I'm not going to attempt it. We pour this through a funnel. Now, what do we need in the funnel? Filter paper. That's right, filter paper. So let's draw, let's pretend there's some filter paper there. It's not good, I know. I know it's not. But you can, it's not bad. All right, so we're going to pour that into there. But if I lift it up, it's going to stay behind. So I pour it through there, and all the liquid here, which is sodium chloride, uh, sorry, sodium nitrate, now goes down this bottom bit, and we're left in here with our silver chloride, the stuff that we want. Okay, so silver chloride. So we had sodium chloride here, and we added silver nitrate and we've ended up with some crystals which I'm going to pour into a petri dish and these pe uh, crystals are called silver chloride so really what you can see is that the um, silver has nicked the chloride there and the sodium has nicked the nitrate so there's the silver chloride salts that uh, we leave out before we put them in our petri dish it's good to wash them off so I've got a bit of distilled water here obviously and we're going to wash whoop, wash the crystals off like so uh, before we put them in there so we get rid of any residue so to make it then we had to put the two solutions together they formed a precipitate which we then removed by putting it through filter paper we washed it off a bit and put it in a petri dish to dry out now this is silver chloride which is used for photography and silver chloride when light hits it, so they coat all this film here with silver chloride, and when the light hits it, it splits into silver and chlorine, and the silver is the black bit of the photograph. Here, then, is another one, another use of it, and here is some hard water. Can you see what I've done? It's hard, hard water. So in some areas, you get really hard water. It's full of bits and bobs, um, and you try and wash your hair, and it doesn't go very soapy. And everyone's seen this beautiful advert here. This is a washing machine innards look, uh, which have got covered in this sort of um, lime scale, as it were. And that comes from having hot water, sorry, hard water, this thing here. So what they do here, hard water is full of calcium ions. They add sodium carbonate to it and they make calcium carbonate. That's a ch chalk, sort of marbly stuff. They make that chalky stuff, which they can filter out. So it goes through a, a machine, a processor. So in the processor, we're filtering out all the calcium carbonate. We've got rid of all the calcium ions, which we, forms this horrible lime scale. And we now get our beautiful, lovely water here. So it's gone from being hard water to nice, soft water. I didn't know how to enjoy it being soft, but there's the point anyway. So insoluble salts are precipitation reactions. They make solids because they can't dissolve. Thank you.